Welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the world of cinema and celebrity culture. Today, we're exploring a thought-provoking topic that sheds light on the voices within Hollywood, who dared to speak out against its darker undercurrents. From cautionary tales to outright warnings, these actors didn't just entertain us on screen, they also gave us valuable insights into the industry they inhabit. Get ready as we count down the top 10 actors who bravely warned us about the realities of Hollywood celebrities. Number 10. Michael Keaton Growing up, Michael Keaton was my Batman. The first two Tim Burton-directed Batman films are iconic, and I will never look at Danny DeVito and not picture the Penguin. One thing I actually never knew was that Michael was once married to his Batman Returns co-star Michelle Pfeiffer. In fact, Michael actually tried to get Michelle fired from the project after learning that she had been cast as not only a villain, but as his love interest as well. While the split before production was apparently amicable, it was still an uncomfortable situation for Michael to be in romantic scenes with someone he had well and truly been romantic with. Number 9. John Stamos John Stamos is not just a fun name to say, but is the man to blame for Mary-Kate and Ashley Olin being absent from the Full House revival Fuller House, a lot of fans of the original series were well aware of why the Olsen twins never return. But for those of you who don't know John actually tried to get them fired from the original series when they were still young, and by young I mean before they were even a full year old from the very beginning of the sitcom, Stamos complained that Mary-Kate and Ashley were very difficult children to deal with apparently if one wasn't crying and screaming then the other one was oh no a baby screaming and crying uncontrollably now that is a unique situation his dislike for the Olsen forced the producers to bring in a new set of twins number eight Tom Hanks who would have thought that the guy who is literally America's father would be the reason of a man being dismissed from one of his film sets? Turner and Hooch was a lovely buddy cop movie featuring a young Tom Hanks and this enormous beautiful doggo named Beasley when the film originally began production. Henry Winkler, also known as The Fans, or Barry Zucker Korn was the director, and Henry has always stated the same thing about the project. He got along far better with Beasley than with Mr. Hanks. The set was played with creative disagreements among the men who would argue regularly on set. Henry's directorial method merely collided with Tom's performance style time and time again. After only 13 days on set, there was a confrontation between Tom and Henry that left Henry out of work, and Roger Spottiswood came in to replace him. Number 7. Alec Baldwin In 2013, Alec Baldwin was attached to star in a Broadway production of the show Orphans alongside Transformers alumni Shia Loff. From day one of rehearsals, Shia and Baldwin were at each other's throats. Shia's problem was that Alec was never off script, which he considered to be very unprofessional. Shia has since claimed that he was so nervous about the show that he made sure to memorize every single line he had before setting foot on stage on day one. His methods were not reciprocated by Alec, who just kind of showed up with a coffee in one hand and the script in the other, planning to rehearse in the moment. Shia was furious, and he apparently yelled at Alec to learn his lines right then right there, saying what he's a lead what's the deal why aren't you bet Alec took five and had a meeting with the producers. He said that if Shia wasn't let go, he was going to quit the project. The producers caved and Shia was canned in the tabloid. They claimed creative differences, but Shia later shared his side, clearly upset with being dropped as if he meant nothing to the show. Number 6. Seinfeld Cast For this article, no one cast member could be singled out as the individual who tried to get Heidi Swedberg aka Susan removed from the sitcom in the season 7 finale of Seinfeld Spoiler Alert. Jason Alexander's character George Costanza is brought the news that his wife Susan has suddenly passed away. George is pleased because he's been wanting to leave Susan for a long time, but it turns out that off-screen Jason was just as excited as Jerry Seinfeld. According to Jason, the other three key cast members, Michael Richards and Julia Lust Fuss, found it tough to play off of Susan, noting that there wasn't a lot of chemistry between them. And as I stated, this was a sense shared by the entire group. Julia Lutfuss said that it was impossible to have fun with her and her character and that the producers were planning to write her off at some point in the near future.
Well, the gripes of the cast were heard, and her character died from licking the glue on cheap wedding invitation envelopes that George insisted they purchase. It is very funny, and it's a great way to get a character written off of a show, but it's just unfortunate for Heidi that the entire cast was lying. Number 5. Jason Momo. It's no secret that filming Aquaman and its sequel was a bit of a difficult task to begin with. Amber Heard not only played Jason's love interest in the film, but she was also dealing with the Johnny Depp defamation trial. So a decision had to be made if she was going to continue being involved with DC or if they would just recast her entirely. It turns out that that conundrum was not because of the trial, but rather because of her terrible chemistry with Jason Momoa. Amber Heard has always felt jammed into the DC universe, but we could go on about that forever. Ultimately, the studio never went ahead with firing Amber, and it was all thanks to the CEO of Tesla and her former lover, Elon Musk. Number 4. Sylvester Stallone Richard Gere is one of those actors who doesn't really act sometimes people just get hired for films because they have the face for it or the style for Richard. He did not have enough class and moxie to keep a handle on his role in the film Ellis of the Flatbush. He was casted a star alongside Rocky himself Sylvester Stallone and according to Slee these two did not get along. Their beef was strong and long-lasting throughout the entire production until it finally came to a head when dripping in mustard, despite S's warning about mustard, it dripped all over his trousers, and in true Rocky fashion, he elbowed Richard in the face and threw him out of the car. The altercation resulted in Richard being fired from the project. Oh no, they had to choose between Richard Gere and Sylvester Stallone. I wonder how quick that meeting was. Number 3. Ryan Gosling. The Notebook is considered one of the greatest romantic films ever made. Oddly enough, though the on-screen couple never got along during the shoot, they would fight with each other on set all the time and seem to have completely opposite ideas on how basically everything should play out. One day in particular was pretty exciting for anyone who wasn't involved. Ryan called over the director and demanded that Rachel be replaced by another actress to read her lines with him in front of 150 crew members. He claimed that Rachel just wasn't giving him anything to work with, and they would just constantly yell at each other between takes. Finally, Ryan asked the director privately if it might be possible to restart the project with a new lead lady, and needless to say, he was laughed out of the room as time went on. Number 2. America Ferreira in the early 2000s, Lindsay Lohan faced a ton of public scandals, but one that's not talked about often enough actually took place behind the scenes of a little show called Ugly Betty Lohan, was a guest star on the show in the third season playing Kimmy Keegan. Now Kimmy was supposed to stick around for six total episodes, but that number was actually shrunken down to four. The reason being was that her co-star and the lead of the show America Ferreira did not get along with Lindsay Lohan according to America and several of the Ugly Betty crew, Lindsay would show up with an entourage of people usually under the influence of herbs and spices, and the production crew had to repaint her dressing room when she left because it was just so bad in there one crew member alleged that she would cut images of her own face out of magazines and tabloid articles like she was making a college or something creepy like that America claims that one scene took over 30 takes to get right because she flubbed her lines over and over again. Lindsay's friends have been sure that America wielded far too much influence and was the primary reason she was asked to quit the program. Unfortunately, if you do awful things and enough people find out about it, karma will catch up with you. Number 1. Lucy Liu Sony's first step into the world of Charlie's Angels was a great success when it released, with Cameron Diaz, Drew Barrymore, and Lucy Liu as the lead angels. The film was full with action, a tiny amount of comedy, and one of the oddest performances ever provided by Chris and Glover. Seriously, that guy needs help. One intriguing addition to the cast was the presence of Ghostbusters veteran Bill Murray as the man behind the microphone. In an interview with the news outlet Deadline, Mr. Bosley revealed that the set was anything from a comedy, after Bill discovered that a sequence was rewritten without his consent. And there you have it, folks, our list of the top 10 actors who served as beacons of truth amidst the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. Their warnings remind us to question the narratives we're presented with and to always keep a critical eye on the industry.
which actor's words resonated with you the most? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more thought-provoking content. Until next time, stay vigilant and keep exploring the stories behind the stars.